Okay, so I'll move to the next exercise. So if 500 million users upload 10 photos per day, how much metadata do we need to keep for several years? So we are designing Instagram here and then uh, we are finding that 500 million users are coming daily to Instagram and each person is up uploading let's say 10 photos per day. So, so how much me metadata do I need to keep for several years? So by metadata uh, we mean uh, the uh, the schema. So, uh, I'll, I'll explain it. So we have 500 million users. We have 10 photos per day. Now, how much metadata? Okay. So these photos are being uploaded in uh, in some kind of uh, cloud storage, right? some kind of S3 storage, but we need to keep the metadata in, in, a, in our database. So that means uh, we need to have a user, uh, we need to have a photos table for this. So that table can have a photo ID, it can have a user ID that which user uploaded it. And then let's say it has uh, some uh, timestamp. I know uh, like uh, there could be some uh, many other columns as well, but for the purpose of this exercise, let's uh, keep it, uh, keep it these three columns only. When we design photo sharing uh, Instagram, then we'll look into the actual number of uh, columns that are required. Yeah. Right. So we, now we have uh, this information, we have five, oh, sorry, we have 500 million users, we have 10 photos per day, and we have this idea that this is how my photos table is going to look like. And from this, I have to identify that how much storage this is going to take. Right. So the first, so the next step is that okay for photo ID, I can uh, I can uh, so again the photos are similar to tweets, right? It could be a huge number, a really huge number, right? So we have seen from the previous exercise that a 64-bit a number that means uh, eight bytes would be required ideally required for it then for a user id we can have four bytes and for timestamp again we can have four bytes so this sums up to 16 bytes okay. so uh, now we have some things to do uh, for calculation so we know we have 500 million users they are uploading 10 photos per day again this 16 byte we can take it as 20 so we have uh, 20 bytes here right. and since we have to do the calculation for future right so again from the previous exercise future means six years so good guesstimate and three years has 1000 days so six years have 2000 days so 82,000 so uh, we express this into power of tens right? so first step is that we identify what all numbers are required for the calculation second step is that we express it in power of tens so 5 into 10 to the power 2 million again from the power of the power table is 10 to the power 6 into 10 into 2 into 10 into 2 into 
tend to devour things. Once we have done that, we count the number of tens here. So two plus six, eight, plus one, nine, plus one, 10, plus three, 13. So we have 10 to the power 13, then we have two into two, four, into five, 20. So we have this number now. Now, the third step is that we have to go to the closest ten, uh, power of 10, which is lower than this. So, so it would be 10 to the power 12. So if I make it 10 to the power 12, that means this, uh, this will become 200, right? So it becomes 200 into 10 to the power 12. And we know that this is terabyte. So my answer becomes 200 terabyte. So just to store the metadata for 500 million users, who are uploading 10 photos per day. So for six years, I need to have 200 terabytes. Yeah, we will uh, talk about 70% usage and replication. I am uh, taking gradual steps here. Want to become a software engineer at Google? You can, like thousands of our students. You just need to learn from those who've already cleared FANG interviews. At Interview Kickstart, our interview prep courses are developed and taught live by 150 plus instructors from tier one companies like Google and Facebook. Our courses are tailored to help you crack software engineering domain interviews, including back end, full stack, machine learning, embedded systems, data science, and more. To learn more, book your free webinar slot today 